You're currently witnessing AI motion tracking by a smartphone gimbal. I can walk around my kitchen and it's gonna keep me in frame with my smartphone's camera. However, you've probably never seen it done like this before, so pay attention. I can stop and start different controls through motion gestures. So if I put my hand out flat, that's gonna stop the tracking. So now I can walk off frame and well, come back when I please. If I wanted to switch this over into vertical video mode, I'd simply just do that gesture and now we're in vertical video mode and this gesture is going to bring us back to landscape. The benefit of this over most mobile phone smart tracking is it's, well it's not done with an app, it's done purely by the gimbal through a built-in camera. There is a camera built into this gimbal and this is what it's processing the AI motion tracking. So really, you don't even need a phone. It will still follow you regardless. And the reason why not needing an app to do motion tracking is so good is that once you've started that motion tracking, you can switch to Instagram or TikTok live and have a cameraman. Example, g'day and welcome back to Cam's Cooking. Today we're gonna be cooking some cinnamon scrolls. Here's uh, what I prepared earlier. I'm gonna run you through this recipe. Wow, don't they look fantastic? Uh, we're gonna keep our clothes nice and clean, so we're gonna have to go grab ourselves an apron. Now you might be thinking, Cam, I did not know that you could cook. And I would be saying to that, I can't. My wife cooked them and I only cook snacks. But for the sake of this camera demo, let's just pretend that I'm a cook. But there we go. So pretty much, you could be cooking something or maybe you're a mechanic and your hands are greasy and dirty and you don't wanna to be touching and moving your camera around. Uh, this is something that could be really cool to use it for. From the intro you've gathered, this is a mobile phone gimbal with a built-in camera. Yeah, it's insane. When Ho Heaven reached out to send me this product for review, I said, yes, I wanna check out an AI camera motion tracking gimbal. However, this is not a sponsored review, so it is purely unbiased as my opinion always is. Now it's not perfect. We're gonna push it to its limits today for the motion tracking, as well as just test it out as a normal gimbal and see how well it is at stabilizing general shots. In the box, you're gonna find the quick start guide, a manual, carry bag, wrist strap, USB charge cable with a type A adapter, a mini tripod and the gimbal itself. Now without this little mini tripod, it's quite a compact size unit that you could just throw in your bag. Uh, you need to unscrew this little locking nut on the side and then it'll unfold and snap into place. Then you're pretty much ready to go. Take your phone, put the camera on the left hand side of the clamp, that way it's not filming this motor. It's got like a clear line of sight. Uh, hold down the power button and we're rocking. Pretty sweet. Now the phone clamp has a quite aggressive 45 degree grip to hold the phone in place, which means that my quad lock case is unable to fit because it is quite chunky on my Pixel 5. Just bear in mind you might have to take your case off to mount your phone. Also the motor at the side, which is also 45 degrees across, which is quite typical on mobile phone gimbals, impacts how much you can tilt up and down with a stable tripod base. This is no issue if you use your hand, so normally it's not a problem with mobile phone gimbals, but since you have that active tracking camera, it needs to utilize the up and down, and we'll talk about how that's hindered later on. And the pattern axis is also not full 360, it gets about 270 before it maxes out. Now, a huge selling point of the built-in cameras to camera tracking is that you don't need an app. It's completely phone-free to operate, but out of the box, you do need an app. You have to register this gimbal for warranty purposes by providing a username and password upon registration. Now everyone has their own opinion on privacy, but I personally don't believe a gimbal should require your personal details to be able to use the product for warranty purposes or anything. There's no cloud services, there's no reason why you can't just prove your purchase with a tax invoice like every other product. So locking its features until you register the product is a very bad move in my opinion. However, once activated, you can use the gimbal and you have a ton of extra features in the app to explore. There's object tracking instead of just face tracking, along with different settings for motor speed and strength, which is really useful depending on the size of phone that you have. I use the apps that come with gimbals for recording. I only use it for changing settings. I use the native camera app or something like Filmic Pro if I'm gonna record using my phone. Now there is a button on top you can press and this will go through a three step rate of video light. This is pretty cool. So you can use this for vlogging. Uh, if you wish. It also happens to be the button that turns on the AI camera tracking. 
Press the button on top and wait for the light to blink. Now the red light means that it's in AI mode, but it hasn't found a object to track. Do the OK hand gesture and it'll lock onto you with a green light for confirmation. Now, slow movements like walking result in the most cinematic pans possible, and faster movement like running or quick turns will result in more whips to try and keep you locked in frame. When I got about 10 to 15 meters away in my testing, it continuously locked track of me. I can't tell if this was contrast based from the clothing I was wearing in certain scenes, or if the movement is just too small in the frame of its camera, but it's hard to say tracking. Just think what you're gonna use the gimbal for. Is it for faster running or slower movements? Just to make sure you have a better success rate with the tracking. Now the limited tilt movement mentioned before will impact how high and low you can be tracked from. So maybe bringing a tripod to get it up off the ground will help a lot more with its range of motion. I was actually genuinely surprised to see that this camera doesn't need a face to do its tracking and it will just track the object once locked on. A mate of mine took me to try rock climbing and I tested out the tracking. I put my back to the camera as I was on the wall and it did fine tracking me along with a nice smooth pan. So this is a great example of its use. The hand gestures can take a couple of goes. I found being within two meters to be the most optimal uh, consistency for getting the stop and the okay gesture seems to work pretty fine. Now if it loses track, sometimes it'll lock back on once you're in center of frame and other times it just completely ignores your existence until you do the okay hand symbol again. Can we just take a moment to process that this is being all done by the gimbal. The camera, the processing of the tracking is all without the phone. You can literally put a biscuit on this gimbal and it's going to track it to you. <laughs> a friggin' biscuit. <laughs> The phone is redundant in this equation. Maybe you could fit a GoPro on it. It doesn't matter. It's all built in and that is awesome. Personally, I really hope this stuff comes to bigger gimbals because I've got like my large uh, Air 2 that I use to film with my Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. And this guy, if I could have a camera all mounted on it that kept me in frame, that would be incredible. But for now, this is like a nice tool to have. Now don't forget, it is a full on gimbal, so we can still use it to shoot handheld shots. Also, Bruce says, hi. Now my hands are pretty shaky with lightweight gimbal setups. I'm not gonna be surging anytime soon, but I can do my best and then with the power of video editing, get some nice clips. But yeah, I'm super pumped on this tech. Simple hand gestures to get a camera to lock onto your face. Man, the world is getting awesome. And this just helps a solo film creator, so solo content creator, uh, be able to create better content for their audiences. And hopefully you guys enjoy the stuff that I make. Uh, that's it. If you liked this video, thumbs it. If you loved it, sub it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Look at it, Look at it just following my face as I move it around. Crazy.